rumour going around that uh, rumour it is all it is until it's confirmation that there will be a pro box show in Letter Kenny, Kenny Donegal, Ryan Peters promotion. And that will be coming up in a couple of months. And if it is, expect to see Paul McCluskey top of the bill. Probably has done enough in this one now. But not to get careless. The head movement is I thrills me, I must say. I love somebody who can box like that. Not make a fool of his opponent, but make his opponent look almost desperate. To hit him, he knows the target is there, and he throws one. And you're here talking about a man who's been in tonight's his 30th professional fight, and has won 21 of them. What he has done, Jim, he's made a world-class fighter look pretty ordinary. That's what he's done tonight in my book. This man come into the ring tonight. He's beaten former world champions. You know, he's been in with the, he's been in with the best. And this young man, Paul McCluskey, has made him look pretty ordinary, in my opinion. But didn't he do that against Tonchev as well? He made him look Tonchev had to quit. I doubt if you'd see the Mexican quit. They don't quit. It's not their style. But he's miles behind, I should think. If you were to stop it right now, there'd be 90 points to 81 in favour of McCluskey. A lot of rounds ago since we talked to Jim Rock. And at that time, Jim was in agreement with us that he'd won every round up to then. And nothing's changed since then. I, can, I, yes, might sorry, be, yeah. I, I might be being biased here, but I have McCluskey every round right up to, apart from this round, I have every round in front. As I said earlier on, some of the rounds he just marginally won, but he did enough to win those rounds. And other rounds he's won by a week. So I, in my card, it's all tens, and Garnica's uh, scoreline is all nines. And I, and I don't think that's being biased at all. No, no, just, just looking at the fight that's here in front of us, and we're at ringside, and we're just seeing it, just barely count, let's count them yourself here now, and we're in the penultimate round from McCluskey, look at that, there's two jabs, there's another, there's a left hand, nothing from Garnicky, that's the left hand, that's the right hand, I mean, you don't have to be a mathematician to work it out, and Garnicky must be getting frustrated. There's nowhere to go, there's no out here at all, unless he finds one moment to buy an inspiration or any other kind of inspiration. But McCluskey, I'm, al I'm almost afraid to say it, but he's toying with them now. Shouldn't use that expression when you're talking about a fighter who's been in the world champions, but quite frankly, with a round to go, Santa Claus has already come to McCluskey if you talk about toying with him. He's a really top class fighter, Dave, and this is only his 15th pro fight. There's no doubt about it, he's, a, he's, a, he's one for the future, there's no doubt about it, he's got a lot of class, he's got a lot of skill, he's got a few wee rough edges, but uh, that's only been <coughs> maybe over, over, over 10 agony. but uh, he's one of the best, you have, you have John Durry, you have Andy Lee, and you have uh, Paul McCluskey, who are three of the best prospects you'll probably get in Europe, without a doubt, these three guys are potential world champions. There's no doubt about it in my mind. There's another young guy called uh, Matthew Magnum. He's also another very good prospect. You know, so there's loads of them. Not forgetting Bernard Dunn, who's on, on, on the outskirts, about to come back in again. So we've never been as well off, but round the, this division, this McCluskey, I think there's a European title in him for sure. And maybe there's a world title as well. We are in the last round, and Paul McCluskey, he has come from the other side of the country, really, to come to Limerick come up from Derry, from Dungiven in County Derry, for the sporting Limerick crowd. They say that's one of the most sporting crowds and knowledgeable sports crowds of all peoples in Ireland uh, and Limerick, and they, although most of them will have come to see Andy Lee, naturally, but they still appreciate the man with the skill. They used to say in boxing, the art really is to hit and not be hit. And my God, if you talk about art, you could hang McCluskey on the wall. Look at that. Watch it, just watching and then watch the little head movement. Every, no, see that? Two hands went out because his face wasn't there. It's amazing, Dave. Yeah, as I said, he's got cat like reflexes. And when a guy throws a real good hard punch, he has this ability which very few fighters possess. There's only one more 
one other fighter on my mind, and that was Muhammad Ali. As, as I had pointed out earlier on during this fight, he has that technique where he can move with the punch. And if you throw a haymaker at him and it lands, his head's already moving, so therefore it takes the sting right out of the punch and makes a very hard punch very easy. It's some praise for a man to be mentioned in the same breath as Muhammad Ali. Well, that's what he, he's not, I'm not saying Dave Boy compared him with uh, Muhammad Ali as a winner, but he's compared him with his style and that movement, that ability to read, to see in advance, know what's happening, and now he's going to finish in style. Paul McCluskey from Dungiven County Derry. He doesn't need to finish it prematurely, there's just over a minute to go. Take it on points, that'll do. I suppose it looks better on a pro's record if it's inside the distance, but anyone can see a tape, anyone can see a DVD, and then maybe if you have the money you can go along and see the fights, but this man is top-notch, there's no doubt about that. Okay. Now, okay, who has he it. fought? He's fought the likes of Tonchev. He's fought some very good ones. Tonchev was a world champion, a European champion. This man has been in with world champions, two, three of them. Has been robbed in one of the fights, won a couple of others. And believe me, he may be Manuel, but he's no 40 towers fall guy from Mexico. In there to fight, in there to make McCluskey fight, and there's 40 seconds between Dungiven and Destiny now, as Paul McCluskey has given an exhibition, absolutely, of boxing skills, avoiding punches, landing punches, scoring punches, jabbing, hooking. Really terrific performance. As good as you'll see, that's for sure. And now, somewhere down the line, there's a European title. David Ervick steps between them, separates them. Seconds are ticking away. And the crowd enjoying it. They have to be enjoying it. like a premature end. But Matroscu would be wise not to just ignore them. Go for the next few seconds. And then he'll hear the ring of the bell. And without a shadow of doubt, as sure as Limerick's a monster, Paul Matroscu has won. And in my opinion, has won every single round. An absolutely brilliant, almost impeccable performance. Would you agree, Dave? Abs it was textbook stuff the whole way through. We were saying at the start of the fight he's going to have to be very careful because this, this uh, man is, is a world-class fighter. He's been one the best, he's beaten the best, so therefore he's a very dangerous opponent. But Paul McCluskey tonight made a world-class fighter look like a very ordinary fighter and you have to take your hat off. He did a demolition job here tonight. It was absolutely first class. You couldn't ask for any more. He did exactly what it says on the box or the tin. He went in, he conquered, and he came out. And in my opinion, he has won every round of this fight, which is very, very unusual to say or to, uh, to you know, and in scores being, being totted up, to win every round when you're fighting a world-class fighter is nearly unheard of. So, we're probably expecting 60-54, something like that. But there can't be much doubt about it. We'll hear him speaking very, very shortly. But first, we've got to get the official result. And here is Mike Goodall. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee, Mr. David Irvin, has scored the contest at 93 points to 98 points in favour of the winner, Paul McCluskey. <laughs> yes, what a win. And your appreciation what a win for Manuel McCluskey. Garnica. Next step, a headliner. After that, Europe here we come, and after that, well, let's not be greedy. He's a class act, that's for sure. Marty Morrissey's in the ring, not to challenge McCluskey. <laughs> and that is for sure, Jimmy. Paul McCluskey, congratulations. Uh, a fine performance. Tough battle, though. Stephen. Well, coming come on to this fight, I knew it was going to be a tough battle. I'd, uh, I'd seen his, a few of his fights, and uh, when you look at his record, he's beaten two former world champions. So there was no way it was going to be easy. Uh, I thought I boxed with him myself, but I'd done enough. I knew I knew was outscoring him in the rounds, but he's a tough cookie. Mm. The Mexican came with quite a reputation. But from your perspective, where do you go now? Uh, wherever this man here puts me, hopefully, hopefully near home next time, you know, probably maybe I'd love to fight in my hometown, even though if they build a hall, probably big enough to get people in there, but it's, uh, I'd love to fight near and given, hopefully soon. Well, let me put that question to Brian Peters. Where, what next for Paul McCluskey? Well, it was great to showcase Paul here tonight in the beautiful city.